got a, a project loaded up. I uh, made sure that in default in preferences, in project default, if I scroll down, that the uh, default audio monitor is off because I don't want feedback loops. In the mixer, I'm going to be sending various channels to output three and four, which is going out here. It's going into my sound card into Ableton Live. If you look at Ableton Live, you'll see that I have monitor in set so I can add effects to that channel. In the matrix, this is 132 beats per minute. In Ableton Live, I got that going at 132 beats per minute. Let me just drag default beat repeat in there so you can see what it does. Let's um, stop all clips. Okay, just a drum beat. We go to mixer. Now, here's one thing I wanna do before I even get started. In the master, I wanna go over to output three and four, and I wanna turn the volume down significantly. I don't know if you're gonna if you're gonna have to do this or not. I can't use regular output one and two here. I have to use headphones because like many force owners, my force, the master volume pot is scratchy to the point of unusability. So if I go uh, out of master, and I go to IO, double tap my drums from sub three and send them to output three and four. You're hearing them doubled up. That's because of some latency. It, again, that's also because I'm using the headphones out uh, for audio. And that's really too bad, but the loop won't be doubled. Let me show you. So I go to menu, looper, see if monitor's in. Decided to add a vocoder instead, just so it'd be more striking. Arm um, for recording. Actually, I want this to be two bars for a demo. Okay, export track. And you can hear the vocoder. Now there's latency. So in the clip, I'll just scroll the loop start up. Oh, <laughs> clear the looper. Put loop start where you want it. You can uh, use, raise the volume. Put that uh, back on up sub three. This drum uh, channel here actually has bass lines on it. Let's put it on output three and four. Spectral resonator. Overdub a couple times. Stop. Export to track. Boom. Yes. Clear. Okay, back to Mixer. Set that back where it was. Let's add something different. As you can see, I added a drum rack, or an effects rack of my own creation, Glitch Rack. As you can see, I've got them laid out, so none of them play at once, and I'm going to set an LFO 
I have an LFO set that when I hit play, it's going to randomly go between effects. Watch. Okay, let's go to Looper. Set this guy to eight bars. And let's uh, make a bunch of loops. So both of these. Hear that? Beautiful. alone. Beautiful, right? But if we go, if we send that to output three and four, and we change the BST to DOS of love, 
choose a random preset, Haunting Skies, increase the size of Shimmering Clouds, and we will solo this. Let's let this build before we, uh, before we uh, take a loop. Nice eight bar loop. Turn that monitor off, export this to here. And then this guy here, we'll change that back to output one and two. And we will change the voice to pad. Let's try, I don't know what that is. It looks like staccato, no distortion. Oh yeah, baseline. See that latency? That's that's the 3.6 problems. Ah, oh, look at that. It didn't even come in yet. Ah, oh, there it comes. Oh. Yeah, that's because I added that native instruments, uh, native instruments instrument. Um, I guess what I'm gonna do, these are too hefty for this amount of RAM. So what I'm gonna have to do is basically stop all, select this guy, save, clip as audio, include track volume and pan settings, export, find a spot, I'll put it in my uh, 2026 projects, add an audio channel, and then I will delete the plugin track, and uh, this guy here, I'll create a clip, and I'll load from where we were just at. Oh, there it is, load, and hopefully, yeah, see, there's a, that bug is still present. And we will also raise the volume and... Awesome.